Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is day one of Azure Administrator session. And in this session, I'll give you the complete information about the prerequisite. Because if you plan to be a certified of Azure Administrator, so definitely this series, this playlist can help you because I'll try to follow the entire content based on Azure Administrator, which is provided by Microsoft. So. Uh, as we discussed in our uh, introduction video in Azure Administrator, we have a uh, five different types of module that we need to cover. Like we start, we need to start from the uh, manage Azure identity, which is correlated to the administrator part, means Active Directory services. Then discuss about the storage, compute, virtual network, and last option is related to the maintain Azure resources. But but before that, you should know about the prerequisite, right? Means uh, what are the prerequisite which is required for our Azure administrator. So let's talk about it. And uh, we just need to open this particular link and uh, just not need to click on start. It will inform you the entire prerequisites. So in case of prerequisite, definitely you should know about what is Azure. I'm not talking about the administrator because administrator is a part of our Azure services. So you should know about the Azure. So as per the name suggests is the type of cloud provider. N number of cloud providers are available in market. You know very well Amazon and Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud and Microsoft Azure is also a type of uh, cloud provider, which is a product of Microsoft. And with the help of uh, Azure, we are able to purchase any kind of services based on, uh, uh, you can say that based on uh, infrastructure, be based on platform and software as a services. Second important part, use of portal. So we should know about the uh, actual meaning of use of portal use of Azure portal, right? As we discussed, as we know very well about a number of cloud providers are available. Each and every cloud providers can give you option to create your free trial account. And uh, after free trial account, you are able to purchase the services, you are able to implement the services. So what you need to do if we talk about the Azure portal, so we just need to sign up ourselves. We just need to open HTTPS and portal.azure.com, right? This is the URL. With the help of this particular URL, you need to sign up yourself means you can create your account. The first step, open this particular URL and create account. It's mandatory to sign up ourselves, and then uh, you can say that purchase a license, not license, subscription. Because you know that without subscription, we are unable to purchase any services. Talk about the subscription type. So we have a three different way to proceed and purchase the subscription. One is free trial. And second is pay as you go. And last one is related to the MSDN, right? So we have a three different types of subscription that can help us to manage the services. Azure free trial can provide you $200 and you can use this amount to purchase any services. The validity of the uh, $200, you can say that it's applicable for 30 days. Pay as you go as per the name suggests, you need to pay the amount as per the usage. And MSDN is applicable for MCT if you are certified uh, Microsoft certified trainer. So Azure will provide you $100 every month for the testing purpose. So in case of uh, MSDN, Azure will provide $100 per month up to one year. You can say that because Microsoft certified trainers uh, certification validity is one year. So this is about Azure. Let me show you the portal, how portal look likes. So we just need to open any browser and this is our Azure portal. I have already signed up myself and I'm using MSDN subscription. So that's why Azure will provide me uh, Azure providing every month, uh, $100 every month. You can say that open more services. This is the portal. And if you want to verify the which subscription you are uh, you have so you just need to click on channel tab and in the channel tab we are able to find subscriptions just need to click subscription it will redirect you on the page of subscription and msdn platform and it gives us complete information even you can purchase multiple subscription by using single account 
clear so guys this is about the azure services azure portal you can say that second important part azure can provide all types of services azure responsible to provide all cloud services so i hope you know about uh, cloud services the meaning of cloud services every cloud provider divided our services in three different part or you can say that the backbone of our cloud cloud technology so let me explain you about azure cloud services if we talk about resource wise so azure provide up to 3600 different resources and if we talk about the technology wise so it is categorized in three different part the first one is infrastructure as a service second is platform as a services and third is related to the software as a services s a a s now infrastructure platform and software as a services these three different types of services are available over our azure portal and with the help of free trial account we are able to purchase all the services clear so let's try to understand about the another prerequisite i hope you all of you understand about the concept of these points infrastructure is correlated to the manageable services in case of infrastructure we have a, a number of examples like as a virtual machine and you know that about storage networking these all are the examples of our uh, infrastructure as a services in case of uh, platform as a services web application web app azure web app azure sql right these all are the services which is considered as a platform and software as a services o365 this is the best example of our software as a services active directory azure active directory is also a type of software as a services okay let's talk about another points that we need to know and use azure cloud cell and power cell yes so we have a three different way to use our cloud services means uh, with the help of these three different method we are able to manage our cloud services so let me explain you about the method that can help us to uh, manage the azure services think about for example this is our azure portal right this is our azure portal that we created of th th that we purchased um, and now azure will provide you if you have a subscription azure will provide you uh, to access these services so we have a three different way using gui means graphical user interface with the help of portal you can manage the services with the help of cloud cell right and cloud cell contain two different types of options the first one is related to bas and second is ps you can say that power cell cloud cell is a built in service that help us to manage the services with the help of code or with the help of command line interface third important part if you are using your on premises system and you don't want to log in your gui panel so what we need to do we are able to connect our on prem machine this is our on premises machine you can connect your portal and use cli it's a command line interface we will discuss each and every points in our uh, what we can say that in our uh, uh, upcoming videos so this is the single portal you can manage your portal services by using gui by using cloud cell bas and power cell and even cli as well a single machine or you are want to manage the storage you want to configure the network part each and every services you can manage with the help of these method clear next cli and uh, this is complete information about the configure uh, you can say that as a resource tool so this is the prerequisite so we must need to know about the basic concept of these points i hope you all of you understand second important part is use as a resource manager and uh, we'll discuss about the different types of templates which is available in arm as a resource manager template a consider as a arm template in this case uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, kind of automation part you just need to create your template and upload the template and purchase the create your services that you want but 
for we will discuss about it in next session so this is uh, all for uh, today's class we'll connect soon in next session and discuss about the uh, remaining topic okay everyone thank you take care and please do subscribe your online uh, on youtube channel teach me cloud take care guys bye bye